How do I navigate the U.S. public education system for short-term stays? Navigating the U. Public education system for short-term stays, the USA visa process, and immigration guidance can be complex, but I can provide you with a general overview of the steps involved. However, please note that it is always recommended to consult official government resources and seek legal advice for accurate and up-to-date information. Determine the appropriate visa category. For short-term stays, you may need a non-immigrant visa, such as a B-1 business visitor or B-2 tourist visitor a visa. However, if you are planning to study in the U, you might need a different visa category, such as an F-1 student a visa. Research educational institutions. Identify the schools or educational institutions you are interested in attending. Consider factors such as location, program offerings, reputation, and admission requirements. Apply to educational institutions. Contact the schools directly and inquire about the application process. They will provide guidance on submitting the required documents, including academic transcripts, test scores, letters of recommendation, and application fees. Obtain an IA-20 for F-1 visa applicants if you are applying for an F-1 student visa upon acceptance to AU. School, the institution will issue an IA-20 form, which is a certificate of eligibility for non-immigrant student status. Pay the SEVIS fee for F-1 visa applicants before applying for an F-1 visa, you must pay the student and exchange visitor information system, SEVIS F fee online and receive a receipt. 6. Complete the visa application, fill out the DS-160 form online, pay the visa application fee, and schedule an appointment at the U.S. Embassy or consulate in your home country. Attend the visa interview. Prepare for the visa interview by gathering all necessary documents, including the DS-160 confirmation page, passport, visa application fee receipt, I-20 form, if applicable, SEVIS fee receipt, if applicable, and any additional documents requested by the embassy or consulate. 8. Obtain a visa. If your visa application is approved, you will receive your passport with the visa stamp. Verify the information on the visa to ensure accuracy. Arrive in the U. Once you have your visa, make travel arrangements to the U. And arrive before the program start date. Be prepared to present the necessary documents, including your passport, visa, I-20 for F-1 visa holders, and any additional documents required by you. Customs and Border Protection Comply with immigration regulations, adhere to the regulations of your specific visa category, maintain valid immigration status, and keep track of any required documentation or reporting obligations. It's important to note that the process may vary depending on your specific circumstances, so it is recommended to consult official government resources, such as the U. Department of State's website, and consider seeking legal advice to ensure you have the most accurate and up-to-date information for your situation. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.